Hi again, YouTubers. So this is a review of the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. And I purchased this um, because I've heard so many good things about this product here on YouTube. Um, just reviews of it are amazing. Um, and I was super excited to get it because I was like, I have been in love with since, I don't know, it was summertime, I guess, uh, with the Shiseido sun protection liquid foundation and I've loved this and I was like okay but I need to still try other ones because I love foundation and I always love finding a new one so I was super excited to try this and when I got it I also picked up I think it was makeup forever's matte velvet plus um, and a lot of people were telling me that I was gonna like fall in love with this and so I think I had too high of expectations for this because I wanted to fall in love with it like I fell in love with this one. And I didn't. Um, I've given it a lot of different tries, a lot of different ways, and I do think it is a really nice product. Do not get me wrong on this. I think it's a really nice product. I think it gives nice coverage. I think it looks pretty. I have it on um, right now on my skin. However, the only downside that I find with this product personally is I feel as if it looks streaky on me. And what I mean by that is after I've applied the foundation, I feel like I can still see bits of it and I feel like it looks a little bit like blotchy in different areas and it just isn't giving me the finish that I want. So I've tried it a couple different ways, um, as I always do. I tried it with my buffer brush. I tried it with um, a blending sponge, like a beauty blender type of thing. Um, I tried it with... Uh, regular, God, my brain isn't working, regular foundation brush. I tried it with my 187. Um, I tried it multiple different ways and it looks nice. Do not get me wrong. I think it's a nice foundation. I will use the product up. However, it isn't, I'm not like a lot of other people. I'm not like, wow, this is the most amazing product I've ever tried. Like when I finish it up, I'm going to buy more. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to repurchase another one. I think it's a really nice product, but for me, I still love this product so much more, so much more. Like, it just gives me unbelievable finish, coverage, everything, and it's kind of what I hoped this would do. Um, I think this gives me a medium buildable coverage. I also think this can be used on any skin type. Um, I don't think that there's really any skin type that would have an re adverse reaction to this because I think that the, the way it goes on, I can see it working fine for dry skin because it doesn't get cakey throughout the day, but I can see it working for oily skin because it doesn't get dry patches or anything like that. It just isn't my holy grail foundation. I do think it's a nice foundation. I think it's a great foundation. Um, but for the price, I personally would prefer to buy another one of these than to purchase another one of these. And let's see the difference in size. Same size. So, yeah, for the money, I would rather purchase this one. It's just my opinion. I think this is a nice product. I just won't repurchase it. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. If you have any additional questions on the product, um, definitely put a comment below and hopefully I can help you out. Thanks so much for watching. All right, so I'm back. Um, the reason I'm adding on to the video you just saw was because I did have NARS Sheer Glow in the color Ceylon, and I had planned on keeping it. I wasn't in love with it, but um, I had talked on Twitter about the fact that it was just very streaky for me and things like that. And so I was speaking with Juicy Tuesday and she said she ran into the same types of issues and it was because the color wasn't matched properly for her. So she actually is the same color as I am in um, Chanel. So she told me what color she was and I went and I exchanged it for uh, the color Punjab, which I have on right now. And I will say, since I have had it in this color, um, it's a totally different 
product. And the reason I kept the initial review on here is because I wanted people to know if they purchased it and had the same issues that I did, that it might be the same reason that I had an issue with it, which was the color was not matched correctly. The color looked fine on my skin. I didn't think it was color matched incorrectly. Um, and it never occurred to me that the streaks might be caused because of the color not being the exact fit. Uh, and I think I try so many different foundations that sometimes to me, um, they aren't always the exact fit, but you make them work. Um, and this color in Punjab is the exact fit for me. And thank you, Teresa, for letting me know that. Um, it is definitely a huge difference. Um, I now love this product. I think it's a phenomenal finish. I think it's uh, great coverage. I think that it gives you a pretty glow um yet it's still matte enough. It isn't something that is overly dewy and it is not something that's too matte. It's that great in between. Um, and now I really do understand why so many people are in love with this. Um, I don't know if it is particularly still like my absolute favorite must have like a lot of people. Um, I still really love my Chanel Pro Lumiere um, and I love my Shiseido sun protection ones. Um, this is very comparable to those. I think the more I use it, the more I love it. I'm, I've used it for a couple weeks now in this color and um, definitely though the difference is crazy guys if you find streaking or you don't find that it looks perfect on your skin it is probably because you have the wrong color so um, definitely check into that and I hope this additional little bit was helpful to someone out there um, maybe if you didn't have the right color so um, if you have any extra questions let me know thanks so much guys bye